Chasing the rats around Crow's Nest Park yesterday morning, I've been given permission to talk about my, uh, my pet favourite subject, which is inflation. Now, why, why would I want to talk about inflation when the government tells us that it's running at 1.6%? Surely no, nobody in the country is bothered about that. Trouble is, um, with inflation at 1.6%, we're standing here, this is the cheapest petrol I think we could find in Batley. It's at 129.9 per litre. Uh, I've checked, this time last year, the average, the average cost of country, admittedly not in Batley, Batley, but the average cost of country was 106. So we've had something like 23% inflation in petrol prices in the last 12 months. Yet the government tells us it's 1.6%. Uh, and the problem is, you see, inflation is just another of those uh, manipulated statistics. The government chooses and chops and changes what it puts in the inflation index to make it makes all believe that it's less than it is. Anyone buying petrol, anyone shopping in supermarkets can see that there's inflation taking place. They can see in supermarkets and shops there's shrink shrinkflation where, the, where you get the... Um, the price stays the same, but the amount of product is, is forever reducing. Now, in, inflation is significant because I think uh, inflation is starting now. We're seeing, as I say, 23% inflation in petrol prices. It's starting to feed through into food prices. Uh, and that, we believe, is only going to increase. And inflation is, uh, and the hyperinflation that potentially will come on the back of it um, is the ultimate catastrophe that is going to come out of the Conservative government's inept handling uh, of the corona epidemic. Because how they've handled the corona epidemic is essentially to print £500 billion of free money uh, and use it to prop up government services uh, and pay for uh, things like uh, the hopelessly failing uh, test and trace and to pay people to stay at home. People that could have been out generating wealth, generating services, generating products, um, were told to stay at home and were given money to compensate themselves for staying at home. That's free money and it's dead money and it does nothing. And what we've got now is more money chasing less products and that results in inflation. Uh, and once inflation starts to get going, I mean, it is getting going already, it always lags the government money printing um, by 12 or 18 months. Um, but the result of government printing money to fund itself, you can look back to Weimar Germany, you can go to Zimbabwe in 99 or Venezuela or endless, countless other examples. Government prints money to fund itself, you get hyperinflation. And that is what I'm afraid is coming to the UK, I suspect, within the next year or two. And hyperinflation, when it comes, will be a direct result of that money that was funded to print, the, to, to, print, print to pay for the corona crisis. We could have done differently. We could have done what Sweden did. We could have done what the American states that didn't lock down did. And we wouldn't have that um, dramatic increase in government debt and currency in circulation. And when hyperinflation cuts in, it, it hurts the poorest and most disadvantaged in society the most. It's a tax on, it's a tax on the poor, basically, uh, and a tax on the middle classes as well. And where's the Labour Party standing up to this? Are they campaigning on inflation? Are they saying what's going what's to happen next? Have they made any attempt to resist lockdowns uh, and resist the madness that has resulted in this? Uh, Freedom Alliance are the, anti the, are the only anti-lockdown party. We are the genuine anti-lockdown party. We exist purely to... Uh, to fight lockdown and all the you know, all the madness that comes on the back of the lockdowns that there's been over the last 16, 17 months. Uh, if you're in Batley and Spen, then please, please send a message and vote for me on Thursday. Uh, if you're not in Batley and Spen, which clearly the vast majority of people watching this video won't be in Batley and Spen, then, and you agree with us, then please join us. Join us and help us campaign, help us in future by-elections and council elections, because uh, these problems are only going to get worse over the next few months. Thank you.